the triad of the temple. God, Amun, Amun Re, his son, Konsu, God Konsu, his wife, Goddess Nut, the holy triad which the Christians copied and call the Trinity. This is the first courtyard that was the mud ramp that as you, go, the up as the you go up, you lengthen the ramp. And you can build, you carry up the rocks up there. Could it be then that this is the same way the pyramids were made? Exactly. The mm. construction to build very high, they did it by ramps. You keep the same angle, so as you go higher, you lengthen the ramp. That you, do, you keep the same angle. Okay, now let's talk about some of these things. There's a huge column here. What is that? These columns were built by Tihaka the pharaoh that came here from Ethiopia, one of the Ethiopian pharaohs. This is one huge temple. Yes, it's the largest worship temple in the entire world. You can take St. Patrick's Cathedral, St. John the Divine, both in New York. You could take the Canterbury Cathedral. You could take the St. Peter's Cathedral in Rome all of them and put them together and run almost the Indy 500 and still got room. <laughs> see, look, as far as your eyes can see. Dr. Ben and I walked down a long avenue of sphinxes with ram's heads that once connected the Luxor Temple to the awesome temple of Karnak. So huge and beautiful it's difficult to describe. It is a temple that started way back in the 12th dynasty. Under which pharaoh? They are not certain. However, it was resumed. Work was resumed on it on the, in the 18th dynasty by Amenhotep III. Dr. Ben and I took a look at the tomb of Ramesses IV. If you would look at the ceiling, uh, Gil, you start see there are different examples from the papyrus, the very papyri you will see, like the papyrus of Annie and so forth. And the wall quotations from the various holy books. Goddess Ma'at to recite the 42 admonitions to, to her otherwise called the negative confessions. From which came? From which came ten of them came, it's, uh, it's called the Ten Commandments. Moses is supposed to have gotten it among Sinai, but he could, I don't know who he could get that when it was already been taught to everyone in Egypt at the education system at Luxor. What's in there? Ah, that's to get into the temple. That is an actual temple with a hypostyle hall although there are only four columns on each side uh, and then on the walls you will see the wars that Ramesses II fought with the Hittites and others of course none, no record of the war any war with the Hebrews none whatsoever right. and at the end of the corridor there's a little chamber what's that? there is what you call the antechamber and the next chamber to that last would be the Holy of Holies or the Sanctuary. This is how deliveries were made from a, a stool like that? Right. And if you notice her breast, yeah, it's full. Yes. Full of uh, lactation for when she has a baby. And notice again that the stomach is large. Yes. Showing yes. that she, she is pregnant. But equally, you notice they were prepared just in the event that she had any trouble. Here is the surgical instrument. If she had running into trouble. Oh, these are uh, surgical yes. scissors. Scissors, the knives, the scalpel. The scalpel up here. Up there. You have those little things that they use the to retractors. retractors and everything like that. Isn't that something? But those were old instruments. And here is the man, Imhotep. Dr. Ben, what is this? This is an ancient calendar. 
uh, of the times when they was based upon the lunar, the lunar calendar. If you would notice, it is based upon the moon and then the sun. For instance, one, two, three, four, four, and four is eight, the month, eight month. This would be two, four, five, the fifth not month. The fourth, see, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth month. See, the eleventh month, and so forth. So that you know what year it was, what month. Did they have the 365 day? 365 and a quarter day. I corrected each fourth year. But they had a 13 month calendar. There was 12 months of 30 days each and one month of five days. This were built by three main pharaohs. The first was Amenhotep III, then his son Akhenaten, then Ramesses II. All right, now, as we turn around, we'll see the main entrance to this temple that this walkway leads into. This was the training temple for the priests. Here was where a man came at age seven. He remained and for 40 years. 40? At, yes, to complete. The training of the priest took 40 years. One could not be a priest unless he was 47. What could entail such a long period of study? Uh, he, had, he learned the seven liberal arts, engineering, science, mathematics, medicine, law, theology, you name it. The people didn't come here. They, 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 they didn't come in here for anything. Only the priests came in here, the young training priests. All right, now, as we turn around, we'll see the main entrance to this temple that this walkway leads into. This was the training temple for the priests. Here oh. was where a man came at age seven. He remained and for 40 years. So you're looking at master engineers, engineers. master architects. Oh, yes. Master uh, craftsmen of, the, of their period. And uh, uh, up to today, they would be masters. And a magnificent uh, religion. Oh, uh, yes. Religious oh, yes. philosophy the, of these, peace. These were the founders of religious theosophy used today by Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. They have not gone beyond it. They're still using the fundamentals that were established along the Nile and best expressed here in this temple. Yes. In addition to the religious theology that was embodied here, there's just a sense of peace and tranquility that is absolutely overwhelming. So they had to raise this 100 feet up and back 600 feet. Five nations assigned their best engineers to move these temples to higher ground to avoid them being engulfed by the rising waters from the newly constructed Aswan Dam. The monuments could not be moved intact, so they were painstakingly cut into smaller blocks and reassembled at this present location. The rescue effort cost a then estimated $36 million and was hailed as an engineering miracle. And rightly so. But what then does one say of those who originally created all of this some 3,287 years ago? And this is the temple of Nefertari. The second. The second. This was Ramesses' favorite. It's most favorite wife. This is Ramesses. And he lived to 99? About 97. 97, I'm sorry. Good man. 